not over the penalty of sin, even though he died for the sin. Everybody trying to act like we over the penalty of sin. He died for sin. But it says, should we continue in sin that grace abound? It said, God forbid. So many of us here this morning is trading sin for the son. Ephesians, the fourth chapter. And she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. All these things God had completed. Yeah. Ephesians, the fourth chapter, beginning at the eighth verse. And it reads, Wherefore he said, When he ascended up on high, he led captive captive, and gave gift unto man. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower part of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heaven, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saint, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children yeah. tossed to and fro, yeah. caring about every wind and doctrine, yeah. by the slack of men and the cunning and crafty, whereby they lay in wait to the sea. O Heavenly Father in Jesus. Got him in a place where I don't have to add nothing or take away from your word. God, you sent me to perfect your people that they can be perfect. And the only way they can be perfected is by your word. And if they're not perfected by your word, they will not be perfect. God, I ask right now that you send a word to perfect your people that they can become perfect. Because you say in your word, you be lifted up from the earth, you will draw all men. And you say in your word that she shall bring forth a, ch a child and they shall call her name Jesus and he shall save his people from their sin. God, you did all that. But your people are still not perfected and they're still not perfect. God, speak to them today, and maybe you can reach them today. And God, we forever give you the praise. We give you the thank. In your son Jesus' name we pray, and every heart can say amen, amen, and amen. If a man die, if a woman die, if you die, or when you die, shall you live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. When y'all die, there is going to be a change going to come. You're going to spend eternity somewhere. John Neville. God is surely telling us something. He said, Matthew 1, 23, he said, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, 
is God with us. He's telling us that I already done all this. And y'all do not do not believe what my Bible say. Oh, yeah. He come back in Psalm 119, 89. He said, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. He said, forever, O Lord. Y'all got that in y'all Bible. Y'all don't read that before. But y'all still do what you want to do. Oh, yeah. He come back in Malachi 3 and 6. He said, for I am the Lord. And I change it not. So the same way he promised and the same way he did them in the Old Testament, he going to do it to y'all today. I heard my wife tell y'all, the time is now. Did anybody do it? Did anybody come forth? Y'all don't believe what she said. Y'all don't believe what God told you. You got your own mind. That's why you ain't perfect. Because you won't be perfected. That's why, that's why you think you can't be perfect, because you don't want to be perfected. And the only way you're going to be perfect is be perfected by his word. And that's why he said, forever, O Lord, thy word is selling in heaven. He said, for I am the Lord, and I change it not. Therefore, the sons of Jacob are not consumed. He said, that's why. He come back in Matthew 4 and 4, he said, but, you, but he answered and said, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceed out the mouth of God, and y'all ain't living by it. Y'all sitting here and do all the waving with your hand, you do all the clapping, you do all the singing, and it's lip serving. You don't mean to clap, you don't mean to wave, you don't mean nothing, because tell me why you're not perfect. Tell me why. Because your little frantic mind tell you you can't be perfect. Because you hear everybody say you can't be perfect. But Matthew 5, 48 said, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is heaven is perfect. Why would he tell you, why would he set us up to tell us to be perfect if we can't be perfect? Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. Cornerstone member, tell me why y'all ain't perfect. Because you surely have been perfected. You should have been getting God's word. He tell you again, and I, you know, just, just just listen to me. He said, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. So let me ask y'all, all y'all that grown, why y'all didn't put away childish things? Why y'all didn't put away word of things that go against God? The things that you did before you were with God, you are not to even be doing them now. Let me tell you why. Because he gave your, his life that you can be perfected and perfect. That's why he died. Against sin, not for sin. Why y'all ain't gave y'all life? Why y'all ain't perfect? He's telling us this because he wants us to know. And we want to do what we want to. This is what he said in 1 Corinthians 13 and 10. He said, but when that which is perfect is come, Huh? Then that which is, is in part shall be done away. He said, all that stuff, I don't came. Why all that stuff y'all were doing before y'all came to me ain't done away? Y'all talk to me. Y'all talk to me. Say something. Say something. And God trying to tell him. He come back and say in James 4 and 1, he said, from whence I come wars and fight among you. It's all in the church when we're supposed to be perfect. We're supposed to be perfected to do what God wants. You know why we can't be perfect? You know why? Because they don't want to be perfected. He said, present your body a living sacrifice. Why? He told us that's being perfected. But you can't be perfected because you won't do what the words say. We want to get our own mind. We want to go to horn after what we want. That's what we want. That's what we want. He's talking to us. He said, and as for God, in Psalm 18, 30, he said, as for God, his ways is perfect. This is what he said. He tell you how perfect he want to be. He said, let that man be where? In you. in you. He ain't saying me alone. He said, let that man be in you. Why it ain't in you? Why y'all ain't perfect? Tell me why y'all ain't got the mind of Christ. Because let me show you why you ain't got the mind of Christ. He was sinless. He went against everything we went against, and we make excuses. All y'all make excuses. The reason why y'all can't be around people is because you ain't trustworthy. 
You can't even trust yourself. That's your problem. You won't even trust you because if I get around you, Ella, you might see who I'm really I am. So I ain't going to be around you. I'm going to make excuses that I can't be around nobody. Really, I got some hidden stuff. Why don't you just tell the truth? Why don't you just tell the truth? Y'all got hidden stuff. That's why y'all can't be around nobody. You ain't gave your body up yet. Let me ask y'all, how many of y'all been perfected? This is what he said he's talking of. And God showed me. He said, as for God, his ways are perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. He's a buckler. And right now, y'all don't trust him. That's why y'all so frantic. That's why y'all so messed up. Y'all, y'all some messed up jokers in him because we've been giving y'all word that perfect y'all, but y'all ain't doing it. That's why, that, that why y'all, that, 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 that beast in y'all, that flesh in y'all is so big, y'all don't even know. Get what he be doing, Mitch. Come in for a minute, Mitch. Let me show you what he be doing. This is your body. I'm that dog. That's what's wrong with most of y'all in here. That's why y'all can't be perfected. The flesh is bigger than you is. That's what y'all problem is. You won't present it. You won't present it. He's talking to us because he want to know. He said, from whence come wars and fighting among you? He said, come they and not him. He said, even of your lust that wars in your memory. See what I'm saying? You won't be perfect because the spirit of God can get rid of that man. But because you're in your flesh and because you like it and you lust another, you warn in your memory. And your memory makes you war against my memory. Guess why? They are contrary one to another. You flesh and I'm spirit. This is our problem. And God started showing them. But you know we got our own mind. You are Dutch and you are Dutch tree. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is the enemy with God. That's why y'all got a problem. Y'all are the enemy of God. Y'all are against Cornerstone. Y'all are against leadership. And I just want to tell the leadership at Cornerstone of my life, I thank God for y'all. For having a standard for God. I'm serious. That won't take down. He come back and tell you, he said, look, he said, but he answered and said, it is written. Why y'all don't live by all the word? It's in the word right there. It said right there, Matthew 4 and 4. He said, and he answered and said, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out the mouth of God. So why y'all don't live by it? Look what he come back and said. He come back and cleared up again in Hebrew 13 a. It said, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, the day, and forevermore. So what he did back there from Genesis all the way to now, See, y'all still eating off that same tree. And let me tell you one thing. It ain't just Eve being fooled now. It ain't just the woman. It's the men. It's the children. It's everybody. Because y'all won't be perfected. Let me talk to y'all. You know, I, I love talking to y'all. It's what he said. He's talking to us because God knows just how Y'all feel. He said, look, he said, know ye not that the friendship of the world is the enemy, enemy with God. He said, whosoever therefore would be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Everybody friendship, that what the word telling you that is perfected, and that we should live by the word. If you are going against what you know that the word is against, then you're an enemy. So don't talk about you love God and that try to act like you don't love the church. You don't love God. Because if you love God, you wouldn't be going against God. The word come to perfect you. What you mean to come to perfect you, per uh, Apostle Simma? It said in John, John 1, and, 1 and 2, it said in the beginning was the word. He said it was already in the beginning in Genesis. So you can't switch it up. He come back and said, and the word was with God. So the word was with God. He said, the word was God, and the same was in the beginning with God. So tell me, how do you not be perfected by what started in the beginning? The creator. He's telling us, and that's why so many churches 
of being fooled or the people being fooled because they try to change the scripture. What you mean, Apostle Sim? What you mean? He said in Isaiah 42 and 1, he said, Behold, he said, my servant, whom I uphold, my elect, in whom my soul delight, I have put my spirit upon him, and he shall bring forth German to the Gentile. He should drain German to every person that ain't with God. Because you really ain't got a God. When it ain't God, you ain't really got a God. I'm going to just help y'all. The devil ain't a God. He was created by God. He ain't a God. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to say nothing. This is how God talked to him. He cause he's taking us somewhere. This is what he said. He come back in St. John 3, 6 and 7. He said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Right. That's why he tell you be born again. But see, you can't be perfected because you won't be born again. So that means most of y'all in here, y'all still flesh. That's why y'all get offended. Ain't nobody spiritual going to get offended with the word of God. And let me tell you something. I this is just something I just want to give you. This is a nugget. If a person was spirit and they had a chance to be around Jesus, wouldn't they be around? Huh? When they, if they were spiritual. I would. I would. I would. Well, just say Jesus ain't here right now. If you had a chance to be around the Apostle Sim, would you be around the Mel? Yes, sir. Hmm. So all y'all that don't. It ain't like I'm living wrong. You can put them together. This is what it said. He said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. He said, marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. And right now, we ain't trying to be it. This is what it said. You cannot discredit truth. It is true. He said, it can neither be proven nor disproven. It is simpler is. Huh? As God said, so long as you are still worrying about what others think about you, you are owned by them. Only when you require no improvement from the outside yourself can you own yourself. Do you own yourself? What is your truth? What is your truth? Because you can't do nothing against God. He said you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. He's telling you this. Because he's trying to get you to understand you are nobody without God. This is what he said. As I approach my text, help y'all out. He said, Wherefore he said, He, when he ascended up on high, this is talking about Jesus. I want to make this plain to y'all. Because how man come and change what God said. He said, when he ascended up on high, man didn't do that. He said, he led captive to captive and gave gift unto men. He gave apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher to men. He gave gift to them. And my men said that it's, it's not going on right now. He said, now that he ascended, he said, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower part of the earth? He said, he, he, he the same one descended and ascended, and he went to the lower part of the earth. So we know this got to be him. This got to be Jesus. He said, and that he that descended is the same also ascended up far above all the heaven, that he might feel all things. He might feel all things. He might feel all things. This is what it said. And he gave some apostle, some prophet, some evangelist, some pastor, and some teacher for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of faith in the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure and the stature of the fullness of Christ. My word today, my apostleship and preaching is to perfect you 
to make you perfect, perfect in God. The only way any man going to be a woman become perfect for God, they got to do what the word said. All of it. And right now, a lot of people, even the preacher, are not being perfected because they make too many excuses for what God said. When God said, be ye perfect for your Lord, God is perfect, they make excuses that you can't be perfect. They automatically come against the word of God. When God said, present y'all body, y'all ain't presented the end. So that means y'all cannot be perfected because y'all won't do what the word say. You can't do nothing against the truth. It is just true. It's what it says. Apostle, the word apostle, apostle means it's, it's one sent on a mission. It's a sent one. It said a commission. I've been sent on a commission. What is commission in apostle symbol? An instructor or a commandment or a duty given to a person given orders from authority of God. And ever since I've been preaching, I ain't took down yet because I understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Listen, what else he said. He's talking up because we don't want to do it. Cornerstone, you have been perfected by God's word and you only choose not to be perfect. You know everything that will take you to be perfect. You know your steps should be ordered by God. You know what you should be doing. But you said, y'all just take a few minutes and think. Y'all ain't hardly did nothing been preaching, y'all. I'm talking about in him. Because when you everything that the word tell y'all to do, y'all do it how y'all want to do it. I tell y'all how to be around the saint, have you, y'all choose not to be around the saint. Because why? You don't want to be perfected. That way y'all at, y'all don't want to be perfected. My calling is greater than my personal feeling. He's telling us that. He mentioned it, though. He said in 2 Corinthians 7, 1 and 2, he said, having that for these promises. This word is a promise. Yeah. Having these promises. He said, dearly beloved, let us clean ourselves from all filthiness of our flesh. Let me ask you something. How clean are you? How clean are, how clean are you from your flesh? Y'all talk to me today. Y'all talk to me. How clean are y'all from what we've been giving you? That y'all not perfect. That y'all not perfected by the word of God. Y'all choose not to do it. It ain't that y'all don't know. Everybody in him know what you should do, know how you should do, and know what you should be doing. But you choose not to. I told y'all silence and betrayal. Y'all still quiet. My apostleship and preaching is to perfect you. To make you perfect in God. That's what it said. Perfect. What is, what is perfect? To make something complete, free from fault or defect. Or as close to such a condition as perfect. That's what the word do. The word perfect you. It, it, it changes. You know, and, and, and I think Mr. somebody told him, it just proves some stuff. It get rid of all that dirt, all them bad branches. It get rid of, you know what y'all do? Y'all tell him, oh, God, don't cut don't that. Cut that don't cut that no. It's a bad branch, but you don't want to cut. You know one of the main branches y'all don't want to cut? Your brain. Because that's where all your filth, what you like doing that. You don't want nobody to deal with your brain. And God said to tell you, in his word, he's trying to perfect you, telling you to renew that thing. Get rid of that thing. And y'all won't get rid of it. But when you die, I'm talking to Cornerstone. A lot of y'all going to die in y'all mess. Because God has sent the word to perfect y'all. And y'all telling God, man, shut up. Get out of my face. I don't want to hear that. And then you try to act like you're talking to me. But it ain't me, because I'm talking about what the, the, the 66 books say in the Bible. All y'all rejecting God's word and rejecting God, man, then y'all think y'all going to make it in. Y'all ain't going to make it nowhere. He said, perfect, perfect, perfect. And you know what got me about it? Elisim always said one spear. He, he said one spear. 
Now, I want all y'all educated people to pay attention because y'all don't hardly pay attention to me how smart I am, right? Perfect. P E R F E C T. Perfect. P E R F E C T. So if I did one, I got both of them. Now y'all tell me, ain't that some? Ain't that some? They smell the same way. You know how they're different? It's when you change them. It's when you put them in different perspective. So when you stay who you is, God know you flesh it because he know you ain't spirit because you didn't change. You the same person. You the same person. Just like they smell the same, you the same. This is what he said. He said perfect to make something completely free from fault or defect or as close to such a condition is possible. No. Now listen to perfect. Having all the requirements or desirable elements, qualifications, or characteristics as good as it is possible to be. Absolutely complete. <laughs> it's all about that definition, ain't it? He said, being entitled, tight, a title without fault or defect, faultless, pure, complete or correct in every way. Can I give you a good one, Mitch? He the author and the finisher of my faith. Uh, that's perfect. If he write the script and he finished the script, if we went by the word, he would be the author. He'll start this thing and finish it. All y'all going to hell because you're still the same person. You're still smelling, smelling yourself the same way. S-I-N. you still smelling yourself. S-I-N-N-E-R. You're a sinner. You have no intention on changing. But what God said... He said in Psalm 19 and 7, he said, the law of the law is perfect. The word of the law is perfect. Jane, why you ain't perfect? Huh? Why you ain't perfected? Can't be your mind because you got the word. It's a choice. That's what our problem is. All of us in the hand saying, we got a choice. The God gives when somebody, you know you ain't him from God, and God leads you, and you still go against when God is directing you. That's bad. You ain't letting the Lord order your step. Or you won't believe your leader. This is what he said. He come back in Genesis 1 and 27. He says, so God created man in his own image. Now, if God created my image, that means I'm, I can be perfect. Is what he said. Then what he said. He said. He said. He said. So God created man in His own image. In the image of God, He created him, him male and female. He created them. He come back and Deuteronomy eighteen and thirteen. He said, "Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Yeah. Thou shalt be perfected." Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna walk with God ain't perfected. Yeah. You know what's so crazy though? I, I try to figure out why my why the members of Him. It's so defined. And as I was sitting on the commode, God told me, he said, just like I did. I picked 12 and Judah still was against me. He was against God. Down come, doubted on God. And Peter said, I won't deny you, but he did. Y'all in here? Y'all in here? It's a, it's a bad thing, y'all in here. But my apostleship, he, 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 he come back, he's talking to us. He come back in Deuteronomy 32 and 4. He said, he is the rock. His work is perfect for all his ways of judgment. And y'all get mad because God telling y'all, I'm going to judge y'all. Y'all telling me that you shouldn't be judging nobody. But all his ways is judgment. All his ways. He said, some of them, he said, a God of truth. He said, he's a God of truth. 
and without iniquity. He said he ain't even got no iniquity because he knew when he came on earth, he got to do what God said, not what he wanted to do. So when he knew what sin was, he didn't, he didn't endure. Y'all endure because of what y'all desire. Y'all don't want to be, y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to give y'all life to God. A lot of y'all are here going to hell because y'all watching some that them people fool y'all that y'all good and sin. I helped y'all. He died for the past, present, and future. But Romans 6, it said, should we continue in sin that grace abound? So don't pimp grace. And grace ain't for everybody because if your faith ain't there, grace ain't there. They can easily fool y'all because you want to be fooled. He's talking. This is what he said. He said, he is the rock. His work is perfect for all his ways of judgment, a God of truth. You hear that? And without iniquity, just and right is he. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't put that, you can't put that no better. He's talking to uh, and he tell us so, so easily. He said, be therefore perfect, even as your father, which is heaven, is perfect. How do y'all let somebody tell you you can't be perfect? I would be asking myself, why I ain't perfect? No, none of me, why I ain't perfect? He told him, let me order your step. The step of a good man is ordered by the law. Okay, why he ain't ordering y'all step? You, I can tell you why. You going places he don't go. You doing things he don't do. Y'all a bunch of hoes that's a sin. That's where your mind at. Your mind is on doing what you want to. You trying to rewrite the scripture when he said, how can he heal without a preacher? How can he preach unless he was sent? I was sent and y'all still rejecting me. God going to get y'all. I don't care them about man said. I got 500 some messages. You can go pick which one you want to listen to. This is what he said. He said, having therefore these plumbing, dearly beloved, you know you're talking to the church. Let us clean ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the field of God. You know what that tell me? All y'all in him that's still in sin, all y'all in him born again, all y'all are doing what you want to, you don't feel God. I don't want you to feel me because you know y'all are good. Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't studying me. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't got no feel for me. But you know, I love it though to be uh, put the same way y'all, they do Jesus, the same way y'all do me. I, I, I'm in good company. My apostleship and my preaching is to perfect you, to make you perfect in God. Ain't that something? This is how he said. And then the world, because y'all listen to it, a lot of y'all in here listen to them talk about ain't no more apostles, ain't no more this and that. See, a lot of y'all don't believe that there are no more apostles. So, you know, y'all talk to people, and when you, you, you shame to tell people that you got apostles because you don't know the scripture. So when they say, ain't no more apostles, didn't nobody walk with God, didn't nobody walk with that. But you listen to that scripture, he said, he that ascended the gate, he gives. So let me ask you this. Had a church, had a church came into no. unity yet? No, <laughs> okay, but I'm going to go a little further. In 1 Corinthians 13, 1 Corinthians 12 and, and 28, he said, God has set some in the church, first apostle. Y'all talk to me. Y'all talk to me. This is a church. He said he set first apostle in the church. And secondary prophet. And thirdly, teacher. Huh? Y'all talk to me. And then y'all let people lie to y'all that if you ain't got the gift of tongue, you ain't saved. Well, read the rest of that. it tell you it ain't nothing but a gift. And everybody ain't get the gift. Let me read that again. He said, and God has set some in the church. So it wasn't just the apostle followed him or seen him. He put this in the church. Is that why y'all don't start calling a minister? Come on, son. 
It's what he said. He started talking to her. He said, wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, you know that was Jesus. He said, and he led captive. Captive, he gave some gift. And all that started talking about that. Then he said, and he gave some apostles, some prophet, some evangelist, and some pastor and teach. You want me to tell you why they want to eliminate that myth? Because the pastor won all authority. If he recognized the apostles, then he put the apostles over him. So he eliminate the apostles and tell all y'all that don't know God and don't study that it ain't possible. But remember now, he said first he put a apostles. So who went up and who came down? Who gave him gift? This is what he said. Then he said, look at the 12th verse in Ephesians 4 and 12. He said, for the perfecter of the saint. That's why. My apostleship and my preaching is to perfect yeah. you yes, to make you perfect yes, in God. Yes, and the only way you're going to be perfect in God is by the scripture. Yeah. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. This is what he said. He's talking to us. He said, Receive us, receive us, we have wronged no man. That's becoming perfect. We have corrupted no man. How do you corrupt a man with your lifestyle saying you saved and you're living in the kind of way? You, you, you're going around and, and you're doing stuff that ain't God. Let me ask you this. Everything you do away from the church, you'll do it in church? Huh? I know, I know, I know some people that want to be whichever, they will hate for me to see them kissing a woman, even though they might like it. And some of y'all will hate to see me see you kissing a man, even though you might like it. You ain't gonna do that in the church, but you might do it outside. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me, let me finish because I just want to stop by and make y'all think for a few minutes. He said, for the perfection of the saint, for the working of the ministry. That was, that was the apostles supposed to be doing. For the edifying of the body of Christ till we all come into unity of faith. That ain't happening. That's why it's still needed. He said, of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. Perfect man. Huh? He said, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. He said that we henceforth. That's why you need apostles and the preaching that I preach. That's why we need it. So we don't be taught. That's why I said, you know, we come to perfect y'all. And then he come back in Galatians 1 and 6 and 7. He said, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another God. He said, I told y'all, if you really knew the scripture, you'll move on people that's teaching you the wrong thing. Anybody can tell you, like, like Ella Simmons said, uh, 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 the dude taught me talk about that you should have gave me a, a second, third way how to live. You, sh you should have made me a man and a woman. You should have gave me an in-between. But I can't go against God, but I need the in-between. What preacher going to talk about an in-between when God created man and male and female? He ain't created, he ain't created no in-between. He did, he, did, he did create in-between. A dog, an elephant, cat, raccoon, possum. He did some in-between. He made man and woman in his image, in his likeness. And that's why he told her, I can perfect y'all because y'all got a mind. I gave y'all a mind. Dogs don't have minds like that. He's talking to us. He said, he said, unto the grace of Christ, unto another God, which is not another. So when anybody preaching to you what ain't in the Bible, you ought to, you ought to, you ought to be against that. So what do you do when I preach from the Bible and you reject it? 
He said, which is not another. He said, but there will be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ, meaning that they'll change some stuff. You know, they, they, they're going to keep it a little bit right, but a, a lot wrong. Like, like the past, present, future sin to make you think you still in sin. How many of y'all still in sin that somebody you heard preach made you think it was all right? And you came back and I'm mad at me. This is what he said. He come back in Proverbs 11, 5 and 6. He said, the righteousness, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his ways. He said, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. He said, the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but the transgressor shall be taken in their own naughtiness. Their own naughtiness. Ah! Ain't, ain't that some? Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Look at just like my wife said. You're looking like you're in sin. You're looking like you're wrong. You can't be enjoying this. You can't enjoy this because you have no mindset to change. And you know what's bad about it? Half of y'all ain't going to repent. Because you know why? Y'all want to keep a mask on like you're right. Y'all ain't going to repent. I know God gave me this. I, 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 I already know that. You, you ain't got to tell me nothing. This is what he said. He's talking about. He come back and talk about. It. He said Luke six and forty. He said the disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Uh oh. So every man that's perfect, it would be like his master because he had that master mind. Raise your hand. Is your, is your mind like your master? I wouldn't put my hand up a name. I had that one of them time. That one of them time I had a, the the three hundred. That 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 that, 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 that arm on not the door. See the devil fool y'all to make you lie. Apostleship. One sent on a mission. And you can go look at every message that you can look at. In every message, I'm trying to perfect the church. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. I know it is. I ain't about the money. I ain't about your honey. I ain't about your mama, your daddy. I'm telling you what the word, what God wants us to do, how God wants us to live. And y'all choose to. Y'all get knowledge, but y'all reject the knowledge. Oh, a lot of y'all in here. Be clapping and act like y'all with some. This is what it said. I'm coming on down here. He come back. He said, he said, the disciple is not above his master, but everyone that perfect shall be as his master. Second Timothy 3 and 17 said that the man of God may be perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good work. How much of y'all work is good? And how much is bad? How y'all coming in here hearing God work? Y'all, y'all young children look up here. I ain't called nothing. Look up here. Look up here. Such as I have, I don't gave it to you. You ain't walk yet. Y'all is playing a dangerous game with God. All these churches in the world getting food, and here we are getting the truth, and I ain't begging for nothing and all that, and y'all choose to stay. I, I listen to a sinner before I listen to a pastor. I, I let a joke a lie to me. I, I don't care how good. Yeah, pastor been good to him, but I'll take a lie right now. This is what he said. He's talking to her. He's telling her. Listen to my, listen what this said. My preaching is a soul-saving message. I'm trying to get somebody saved. And, and, and y'all don't want to be saved. Listen to what it said. One of the greatest ones in the Bible, if you love me, keep my commandment, keep my word. That's one of the greatest commandments. And y'all still got y'all mind that y'all can reject God when y'all want to. This is what it said. 
He said, in Genesis 6 and 9, he said, there are the generation of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect. And everybody said, you can't be perfect. He was perfect in his generation. And Noah walked with God. <laughs> so, so, so tell me why y'all ain't walking with him. Huh? Well, I know y'all ain't walking with God. Y'all don't hardly walk with me. Y'all don't hardly walk with me. How many of y'all walk with me? Uh, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. See how y'all testify that when all y'all ain't raising your hand, y'all to be down on your knees today. Y'all to be repent. Y'all to repent because it ain't cute that you ain't, you ain't following. It ain't cute that you ain't walking with, with me. It ain't cute. This is what he come back and say. Come back in Matthew 9, 21. He said, Jesus said unto him, if thou wilt be perfect, go and sell thou that thou have and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. I said, go and get rid of all your sin and come follow me. Get rid of your possession. Get rid of all the things you're doing wrong. Get rid of all the bad thoughts you have. All that stuff in y'all mind. You know, y'all just thinking bad? No, y'all doing bad in your mind. You got a lot of bad thoughts in your mind. You, you, know, you know, a man can have sex in his mind. I know all y'all that do porn. I know y'all know it. Because it's in your mind. Dog, it got quiet in him. Good God of mine. This is what he said. God got a way of doing stuff. He come back, he said, he said, gave them to the, he said, till we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and care about, about with every wind and dog. I want to be carried. I want to, I want to go against it. All the stuff y'all doing, y'all already know it's wrong. So y'all choose to say, Man, I ain't said about God. I ain't mean, we ain't worried about God. If, if God want to do something to me, let him do it. I mean, that's the way, that's the way y'all talk to him when you do what you want to do. This is what he said. He said, he, look what he said. He said that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, care about with every wind and doctrine by the slack of men and the cunning crafty, whereby they lie weight. On y'all, y'all slow people. They lie and wait. This is where they come in with saying the 17th verse. It said, living a new, a, a new person. Living as a new person. He said, this I say therefore and testify in the Lord. It's Paul. He said, that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Stuffing things. <laughs> Whenever you hear a believer talking about stuff and things and how they want to do this and how they want to do that, they ain't no believer. Their validation is if I get a new car. And then they think it's God. They think a car and a house to them or a wife or a husband is God. Man, you can get that being a, a homeless person. A homeless person can get married. I'm real. A homeless person, if he sell enough cans and don't, don't waste his money on drinking, he can buy a car. That has nothing to do with God. But you try to witness to some of them homeless people. They'll tell you to go on about your business. They don't want to hear that. That's just by how y'all live. My calling, I, I, I can see some of y'all body language. Y'all, y'all on the kickstand. This is what it said. He, he, look what he said. He said, he said, he said, that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles. You know, Gentiles are people that didn't have a God. In advantage of the mind, having the understanding doctrine, being alienated from the life of God. You know when some of y'all first started, y'all was all in. Now y'all being alienated. Some E.T. told you you need to go home. 
He pulled you away from God and took you back to what you were doing. He, hey, he, 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 she, he want to go home. He, I want to go home. I want to go back where I was doing. This church stuff is too much. So y'all go right back there. Y'all don't tell nobody y'all going back, but you don't win back. He, look, look, he said, darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because the blindness of their heart. See, because I told y'all it ain't your heart, but you fall in love with somebody with your heart and your mind just already went renewed. I'm going to give you your heart this time. This is what he said. He said that you put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupted according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which is after God created in righteousness and true holiness. Now y'all tell me why y'all ain't walking with that on. Y'all got on all these church codes, ain't none of it's God. My apostleship and my preaching is affecting you to be perfect in God. Explain it to me, Apostle. Explain it to me. Explain it to me. Let me get over here and try to explain it to you. It said in 1 Corinthians 1 and 17, he said, For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Not with wisdom or word, lest the cross of Christ should be made a non effect. That's what preachers do in the day. They haven't been called by God. I kind of affect you. What you mean, Paul Simon, to make something complete, free from fault or defect, or as close to such a condition as possible? That's what the word do. It tells you what to take off. It tells you what to put on. It tells you. And y'all know, but you choose not to do it because he gave his life that you could be perfect or perfected, but y'all won't give y'all life that you can be perfected. See, you can't be perfect unless you're perfected. You can't be perfected unless you're perfect. And the only way you can do it is by the word. So all y'all ain't born again, all y'all ain't spiritual, all y'all ain't perfected, it's because you don't want to be. God going to get y'all though, because he, he said the day that you hear my voice, he said hard not your heart. He said don't get caught up on what you are. This is what he said. He come back and tell us this. He said in 1 John 4, 17, he said herein is our love made perfect. Love made perfect. Well, he said if you love me, you... you so that's the only way it's going to be perfect. You got to keep his commandments. He said, herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness. You ain't got no boldness in the day of judgment. Y'all ain't got no boldness. Y'all know y'all ain't living right. How they know they ain't living right? The word of God is a mirror. When I look at him, oh, I say the morning. I can see that. When y'all hear the word, y'all see y'all self. And y'all can sit there and act like y'all don't see yourself. Look at him. Hell don't have a revolving door. And if it do have a revolving door, it's in the center of it. Y'all want to play. This is what it said. It said, Christ bring us life from God. He said, for the preaching of the cross is to them that parry fooling. This stuff I'm preaching to y'all, because y'all ain't changed, it's fooling. It. It's fooling to tell you that you can be pure and right with God. It, 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 it. Okay, why y'all ain't changed? Why y'all ain't born again? Why y'all ain't stopped the stuff that's against God? Huh? It's foolishness. It don't none of make sense. The fool has said in the heart, there is no God. The fool said that. He said with his mouth, said, y'all quiet. Yeah. Come on, son. 
Y'all ain't saying it with your mouth. You're saying it with your heart. You're saying it with your mind. That's why y'all don't do it in set. I know y'all ready for me to get through. Y'all gonna have to wait this one out. This is what he said. He said, for the preaching of the cross is to them that parent fooling, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Now y'all see what he said now. Most of y'all ain't saved. Y'all go to church. Because if you were saved, it would be power, and you would be showing some kind of sign that is a power. Yeah, I'm going to whoop the devil and his children tonight. I'm going to whoop y'all, all y'all devil children, I'm whooping y'all. And I know people say, dog, why are you calling people devil? Do they ain't serving God? Who the hell? There's only one or the other one. You can't put too many blankets the same way. They'll have red. This is what he said. He said, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. You know, a lot of y'all are real smart in him. To the point that y'all think y'all are smart at the wisdom of God. But God said, I'll destroy y'all wisdom and I'll make y'all dumb. Well, you'll still think you're smart. In other words, a rubber beta is strong to lose you. See, you will think you're right even though the Bible saying you're wrong. Yeah. And you know how they're going to think they're right, Mitch? Because they're going against me. They don't, feel like, they don't feel like they're going against God. My calling is greater than my personal feeling. See, this kind of gospel right here is to perfect you, but see, y'all don't want to be perfected. Y'all want to find, you know, like some faults in the word. Y'all looking for something that y'all can debate about. And the people that y'all listen to the debate, able to debate about ain't even saved. Want me to tell you one day to you? Why ain't pretty like that? God love everybody. He do. He, he, he do. He love everybody. I do too. I do too. Ain't, ain't no problem. You ain't got me right there. He do love everybody, but everybody ain't healed. Some of y'all act like y'all don't got hit with a truck. You know, you're, 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 you're moving, your neck moving, and you're, you're still, you, you can't hardly move. This, this should be a good message. You know, this, this, but, but I know why it ain't a good message, Miss. I know you cannot discredit what I'm saying. That's why everybody mad me. You can't discredit what I'm saying. I show you what's in the Bible. And when you pull it up on the internet, it says the same thing. Even if you get a new translation. You, can, you cannot discredit truth. Truth is true. And it, and it can neither be proven or disproved. They've been trying to do it all over the world. They've been trying to do all the work. You know what get me though? So many people try to find so much wrong with God and the Bible, and they try to discredit Jesus. Where where Jesus? Where they buried Jesus at? Where they buried him at? Huh? Where they buried him at? In a tomb? Where about? In the room. Okay. So people take trips over there, and they have guys showing them where he died at. They show trail where the disciple went, where all of them went. So if the country still saying Jesus, how would y'all look to the credit? And they still trying to find stuff, but why you think they got that place where everybody go look at the art, where they don't build, a, build an artificial art? But they got places where they can find pieces of the art. How they discredit that? You cannot discredit truth. Truth is true. And it can neither be, be proven nor disproven. It simply is. 
As God said, so long as you are still worried about what others say, think about you. I know some of y'all already took that and used it the other way. I ain't worrying about what they said to him. See, I, I like that. I like that. I like that. I ain't, worried, I ain't worried about what they said. I ain't worried about what Apostle said. He can say what he want to say. When I read the Bible, I see what it said. Now, really, anybody that don't have God's spirit might as well be in bump and slobber. You can't understand that word like that. And all the knowledge that y'all giving people, you got it him. You ain't get it from yourself. You ain't get it from yourself. Don't act like it. Even the people that don't left him, even the people that don't went out, they still preach it. They got their knowledge from him. They ain't got to tell nobody. When you listen to him talk, it sound like it. It sound like cornerstone. Listen, he said, do you own yourself? What is your truth? This is what he said. He said, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I will bring the nothing to understand or to prove. Oh, small joke. Sit here and can speak words, a hundred words, and tell you what it say. They can break it down to all the syllable and principles and all that stuff. They can just come and dash, just tell you they got this many words in it and all that. It's still dumb. It's a box of donuts. Still dumb, because when it comes to God, this thing is simple. And that's why people make it so difficult, because it's so simple. And that's what I'm saying. That's why my calling is greater than my prayer for this is what it said. When I was a child, I spec that one. I understood that one. But all y'all that don't became a man, y'all still a child. I need to buy y'all some little tunk of tub and some Barbie doll. And I need to sit y'all down in the church and play with y'all. And say, look, Johnny, this is God. Hey. This is Barbie. <laughs> the children were late. And y'all act like it, y'all act like it wasn't nothing. They, they got that, they got that. The children got that. Let me, let me come on, let me come on, let me come on, because I don't want to mess y'all up. He said, we're brain to nothing to understand or to prove. God telling y'all, I, I ain't just got to give y'all no rubber bait amount, no strong illusion. I'll take your stuff and twist it around. But I, I see one thing, uh, a lot of y'all hands don't clap, don't go together. That means your brain ain't working right. Let me, let me come on down here. Come on, Mitch. It said, where's the why? Where's the scribe? Where's the disputers of this world? Where, where they at? Where y'all at? Y'all sitting here, y'all ain't got nothing to say. Look what he said. He come on, come on. He said, have not God made the foolish, the wisdom of the world? Let me show you what he made foolish. He took me out of Ryan Alice Cove and gave me revelation and put me on A Street in one of the busy towns and sent me right here where the development was coming. He knew it was coming. But let me show you, let me show you about my apostleship and my preaching so y'all can tell people. Circle K wanted to come and tell us they needed us to endorse them to open to sell liquor and cigarettes. And the man came and talked to me and said, we want you to help the community and sign on this so we could do it. We were standing right here. I said, well, that said the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And God don't bless me. And you telling me to go against God. I don't agree in smoking. I don't agree in drinking. I I'm born again. And I told him, I said, what I'm doing, you telling me to help community. Why you think they're having a the hell sign out there? Why y'all thinking why I said the truth, the whole truth, but the truth? Why you think it said that? We're not taking down. And yeah, yeah, I know y'all said, well, they still building. But when God look at me, he said, that's my boy. He said, my lot of y'all, a lot of y'all preaching with a sign for it, because y'all were trying to get a couple dollars. I'll sign if you. This is what he said. 
Now y'all tell somebody, say, Pastor Simmer, turn them down, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all tell all the other stuff. This is what it said. This is what it said. He said, for after that in the, the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Ain't he good? Ain't God good? This is what he said. He, he, he's so good. He said, for the Jew would question a sign, and the Greek seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block. See, a lot of y'all, what we preach to him is a stumbling block to y'all. It wasn't a stumbling block at the beginning, it's just a stumbling block now. Because what you, what you after now, and you can continue to, to, to let the word perfect you. Now y'all got to use it in the right place now. So don't think you perfect and then going to be perfected. You got to be perfected before you become perfect. So you can't use these words out of order because they won't say the same. So I got to perfect y'all for you to be perfect. So that's why I got to preach hell about you to get you clean. In order to perfect you, I got to clean you. I know you called me. I heard you call me. He said, because the fooling of God is wiser than man, and the weakness of God is stronger than man. He said, but God has chosen the foolish thing of the world to confound the wise. And God has chosen the weak thing of the world to confound the thing which is mighty. Ain't God good? Y'all yeah. can't find nobody like him. Go on and say it. I'm ready to go. He don't need all this. This is what he said. He said, herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. So that means if they were right mentally and, and the word do what it's supposed to do, they wouldn't be afraid, afraid of talking to him about God. That's why y'all don't know if he's talking to you. He's talking to you now. What, what's your answer to him? What, 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 what God said to y'all right now, what y'all what y'all say? I know what y'all say, man, we still ain't studying you. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm just dropping this out to you. Because you're gonna have to pay, you're gonna have to pay for the mileage. You're gonna have to pay for the mileage. You're gonna have to pay. You know, Obama get almost three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars just to speak. I do it for free. And mine got more weight than he'll got. <clears throat> I know y'all like Obama, but I'm black too. This is what he said. He said, there is no fear in love because perfect love casts out fear because fear has tummy and he that fears is not made perfect in love. All y'all afraid to hang around me or to talk to me and all that? What you fear? Let me help all y'all that's scared. I already know y'all. Because y'all ain't ran around me. They ain't doing nothing. I already know some of y'all got some strong desire. Not a strong delusion. Strong desire. Now what they is, I'll let you tell somebody. He said, but fear have tummy. And he that fears is not made perfect in love. We love him because he loved us first. Yes, Ain't he good? Yes. This is what it said. A fool is to know the truth, but keep doing what they want to and go against God. The fool denied God's word. This is what it said in Psalm 53 and 1. He said, a fool has said in his heart. It ain't, it ain't just 14 and 1. He said, a fool has said in the heart. 
There is no God. Ain't that what? Corrupt are they that have done this abominable iniquity. He said, there is none that do it good. He said, no person can find God on his own. That we say, how, how can he heal without a preacher? Boy, it's bad to be uncomfortable in where this air condition feel good to him. You know, I can see it. We were, it was hot in him. Uh, you know, very uncomfortable. But y'all, y'all body language telling me that there's something going on with y'all. <laughs> that word will step over your body and, and talk to the inner man. Because you still got a spirit. The spirit man is agreeing with me. That was offending you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you sitting there trying to act like, uh uh, I ain't, ain't still what he's saying. Let me show you what he said. He said, only God can save you. It said, people may say there is no God in order to cover, cover their sin, to have an excuse to continue to sin. Fools are people who reject God, the only one who can save them. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. If a man die, shall he live again? Y'all all know that when you die, you got two places to spend eternity at. And you're going to live a long time now. So if you die, you're going to live again. All the days of my appointed time, I will wait on my chain. Y'all waiting on y'all chain? You'll never be perfect until you be perfected. We coming on to the close. But God, you're awesome. He's awesome. I like the way he talks. He makes so much sense when he be talking. Y'all don't see him? This is what he said right here in Hebrews 13, 9. He said, be not carried about with divers and strange doctrine. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have not profit them that have been occupied, occupied therein. He said, that ain't going to do you no good. All this stuff y'all going after and, and want to do, I understand how y'all feel. Y'all so very intelligent and y'all just trying to make things be right unto y'all self. And so God said, Terry, go on and tell him this, man. I told y'all the other day, and I'm, I'm getting ready to come in. In Romans 9, and, and when y'all get a chance, y'all ain't got to turn there. In Romans 9, I told y'all that a lot of y'all has been positioned here to make sure that we stay right with God and that we continue to preach right. And I told y'all, and here the scripture that bag it said in Romans 9 and 17, it said, The scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I read, rise thee up, that I might shunt my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout the world, throughout the earth. See what I'm saying about that? When God tells us that you need to be born again, you'll sit here and won't be born again. So you'll prove that some people are going to reject God. When he tells us our mind needs to be renewed, we'll say, I got him. But listen to what he said. He said, have not the potter power over the day, over the clay, and over the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? He said, he got the power to make you be who you are. Y'all think y'all just being like that. He is allowing y'all to be there. That's why he gave you a will. But my apostleship and my preaching is to perfect you, to make you perfect for God. This is a soul-saving church. He said, brother, my heart desire and pray to God for Israel, for Pensacola, for the surrounding area, for Cornerstone, for all the churches, 
that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of going to church, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going by to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. They have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness in everyone that believe, he said, tear. They just don't want to do it. And for that cause, God said, do what you do. You got to tell the people the truth. You cannot play with that, Apostle Silver. And as I come to a close, not though I have already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reach forward unto those things which are before. Let us therefore as many as be perfect, be dust minded, and if in anything you be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. If your mind be on anything else, God will reveal it unto you. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness and not being perfected, we lie and do not the truth. But let patience have a perfect word that you may be perfect and Tyson won't in nothing. My apostleship and my preaching is to perfect you, to make you perfect in God. God trying to tell us something. And I know some of y'all just don't feel like you have to. He said, but who's so looking in the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, he being not a forgetful here, but a doer of the works, this man shall be blessed in his deed. That's why I'm a blessed man. Amen. He's telling us this. He come back in Psalm 19 and 9. He said, the fear of the Lord is clean. Enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteousness all together. But their apostleship was not based upon the guilt. It was based on their commission that God had given them. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwell in us. And his love is perfect in us. God is so good to us. Forever, Lord, thy word is set up in heaven. For I am the Lord. I change it not. Therefore, the son of Jacob are not consumed. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out the mouth of God. Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forevermore. My calling is greater than my personal feeling. My apostleship and my preaching is to perfect you, to make you perfect in God. May the Lord watch between me and thee.